Welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to be looking at Trade.ai. Um, you can go and download Trade.ai uh, from their website, um, and you can download it in different uh, formats. I downloaded it with Mac, which I've already downloaded it and installed it. You can see other installs, so if you're on Windows or Linux um, as well, and also, I believe, Intel. So if, you, if you're on a Mac Intel, you can download it for that as well. They do have a uh, pretty thorough documentation here with uh, video clips and text, so that's very nice. Um, and what I want to build today is a sort of clone of uh, Trello. If you're familiar with Trello, it's a task management system. Uh, we're not going to do a full-fledged back-end and everything, just a, a front-end simple uh, sort of clone of this just to see how it does. Um, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to say, um, please create a task. We'll say front front end task management system that uses. We'll just go with HTML. Keep it simple. CSS and JavaScript. Um, want this? This is what I want it to kind of imitate. So let's. I'm going to just do rename so I can copy this. Um, please look at the image file and base. The look off. I'm going to look on this, on that file, on design. Uh, please provide uh, local storage. Uh, please include, I suppose. Please use. We'll go with use. Please use local storage. Okay, so we got, uh, please create a front-end task management system that uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Please look at the welcome board Trello uh, PNG image file and base the look on that design, or base the, the design on that file. It's just, I don't know. Please use local storage. All right, let's see what it does with that. Let me close this out. Well, actually, if we look at this, we'll be able to test out how well, how using the image here, if it can actually look at this image and if it can imitate. Oh, shit. Okay, so <laughs> let's see if I can stop it. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to copy this. So right now, uh, we are in a chat mode, so I'm going to move over here to build mode, and I'm just going to paste what I just did here so we can have it actually build this out for us. All right, so AI is thinking. Okay, I'll help you create the Trello-like task management system. Awesome. It knew I didn't even include Trello in here. It knew what I was doing based on the image. It definitely lets you know it could read the image and knows what the design and everything is. Uh, so first, let me check it. Um, okay, I'll start by creating the HTML. Just accept it all. Okay, features like drag and drop. Yep. And uh, cards. Very nice. So if you are familiar with Trello, it has this drag and drop system. So as you're making these cards, you can um, move them around. So that's what that's for. Okay, so now I'll create the CSS style, our Trello board clone. We'll accept that. Now I'll create a JavaScript file. Okay, very good. Let's see what it's got so far. Let's see, we've got the HTML, free workspace. Okay, CSS. Very good. How's that file coming along? Now I'll create the JavaScript file. It's thinking. It's 
So this is where the JavaScript is going to put the, uh, the actual page. All right, let's accept that. OK, I've created successful, successfully created the Trello-like task management system with the following features, index.html, uh, style CSS, and of course, the JavaScript uh, file. The key features, responsive board layout uh, with draggable uh, cards, multiple list with the ability to add new list, add, edit, and move cards between lists, editable list titles, data persistent using local storage, drag and drop functionality uh, for cards, modern UI and matching the Trello design. The application now provides fully functional task management system with a clean professional interface and closely matches the reference design. Nice, we'll see. Um, users can create lists, cards, edit titles. Nice, so you can edit, um, organize, drag and drop, and changes being automatically saved to local storage. Excellent. So I'm going to right click on this and see if I have open with live server. See if this works. Very good. Wow, that looks pretty good. So if we go back to our, um, it's not too bad. That's, that's not too bad. Um, let's type in a test uh, item. Okay. Um, so, okay, so it's not, it's, okay, so, hmm, that was kind of interesting. Drag and drop is not working. Test item two, and it doesn't seem add card. Okay, so test item three, add the card, and does drag and drop working? Okay, so it's letting me add the items, but it's not letting me. It says I can edit these. This isn't doing anything. Okay. So let's see. So um, <clears throat> card, you can add a card, but it can't drag and drop. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. So it's, I see. So you just got to position that in the right spot. But yeah, you can't drag to a blink. Okay. Let's uh, the drag and drop functionality. It is not working correctly. All right, so let's see what it does with that. Let's go ahead and open up a um, console here. Let's go to application, look at our local storage. Okay, so done and progress. And oh, so this seems to be working. Um, text, write documentation, it's private. <laughs> Now, obviously, this isn't working, but looks good. I like this. All right. Let's see. I noticed the drag. No, it's currently. Let's enhance the drag and drop functionality. So let's add a visual feedback for the drag and drop inter interaction by updating the CSS file. Let's accept that. Um, position logic. OK. Successfully improved. Drag and drop functionality should work correctly now. So let's come back over here. We'll just do a hard empty cache, do a refresh here, and let's see if it works. Yeah, much better. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, can we reorder them? Oh, yes. Very nice. Okay, so that's good. Let's see if we can add another list. Um, um, well, I mean, new list. All right, so very good. We can add a new list. We can add a new card to this one. I can drag over. Can we delete the list? Let's have it delete the list. Um, add. Right, let's see. First of all, can we edit them? And please add the ability to edit and delete cards and lists. All right.
All right, so while maintaining drag and drop functionality, let me check the current implementation of cards and lists. Okay, so I'll uplay, update the, the uh, app.js. Okay. All right, very good. And let's go ahead and accept that. Okay, now it's gonna update the style. Let's see what it does here. Accept that. Okay, it's successfully done it. All right, let's just do a quick clear cache here. All right, so now, so yeah, we can edit. Very nice, so very good. Um, we can delete. No, I don't want to delete it. I want to move this over here first. No, I want to delete it. Very good, okay. Can we delete that, delete that? Great. All right. I think this is a win. This is very good. It looks very similar. I mean, it had, you know, doesn't have the gradient, you know, look, we could probably add that. But I think for a test run, um, I think Trey gets a pass on this. So way to go, Trey.ai team. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe as always. And I will see you in the next one.